invited by Tom Glyro of Club Radio um, to participate in the Artist Challenge, uh, posting stuff from how we work and what we do for uh, 10 days and then nominate someone else and then it snowballs. Alright, uh, this is my humble abode and uh, my work corner. You may have expected a large studio, yeah, I wish. <laughs> Um, but technology these days gets you very far, uh, even to professional levels, so basically that's all I need. There's a keyboard that lets me, uh, you know, enter keyboard ports, um, other instruments by MIDI. MIDI is a signal that triggers sounds um, from within the computer so that they sound like a different instrument. Let's say, for example, here is a synth bass. Let me see whether this one works. Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna move the latency a little bit. So here's a synth bass. And then of course the guitar goes into the amp, uh, the amp has a cable into the interface, uh, the audio interface translates the signal from audio to digital, I mean from analog to digital, and then uh, it hands it off to the computer again, and the computer uh, records the signal, if all goes well. <laughs> So um, those are basically the ingredients you require nowadays to record uh, professional sounding music. I hope it sounds professional, that's what I'm aspiring to. And uh, well, let's give this a spin. Let's see, um, I have the guitar plugged in. Where are we? Rhythm guitar. Yeah, there's already, I um, don't know whether you can see that. guitar track uh, for the guitar and um, there are certain sound settings that are that are here you know for uh, channel EQ which is uh, that thing here um, oh, let me. it um, it it modifies the sound of the guitar a little bit or makes it sound really crisper a little more uh, suitable for rhythm and uh, all right, all you got to do is start the playback, hit the record button. This is um, armed as it's called, it's already armed. And once I hit the record button, it'll start to record a new rhythm track. So let's give it a try. So here. And so on. This is just messing around a little bit so you get the idea. Um, let's see, where is it? Um, here's what I recorded. And if I double click it, you see that it did record the rhythm track. Let's solo this for a minute here. There it is.
So yeah, that's uh, basically how this whole process works. Uh, we start out with uh, with a drum track, for example. There's a wonderful feature in Logic which is called Drummer. Uh, it actually emulates a real drummer in a live session, which is amazing. I don't know how they do it, but I'm being told it's uh, used by um, it's it's being um, uh, brought into the DAW by um, artificial intelligence. So it's an algorithm that acts like a real drummer. It's amazing. It's really musical. I, it blows my mind every time I use it. Or you record an actual drummer, if you have a budget. And then, uh, well, on it goes. I mean, here's the drum track, for example. This is uh, the drum track, isolated. It's amazing, isn't it? Metronome is like a um, like a clock, basically. It gives you the rhythm and uh, at a certain BPM, a certain speed, and then everything else is in lock in, in sync, uh, locked in sync with uh, with the beat with the metronome. And uh, you start layering other tracks, uh, bass synth, synth bass I showed you earlier, um, piano, strings, horns, whatever. Add the guitar, singers maybe later on. And that's how this whole process works. It's uh, fairly easy once you understand how to use technology and how to have it all plugged together in the right way so that the whole signal flow, the, so the, the flow of the audio signal is translated correctly. But once you have it all set up in the right way, that's basically what it is, you know. Straw layering. It's like cooking, you know, adding like cooking gumbo or something. You add ingredients and do a little tasting in between and, you know, cross listening, cross checking. And hopefully if the whole recipe is gonna work out to your liking. So that's that. Hope you enjoyed this. This is Westbound for Westbound Music. And see you later.